it's you. Come on in. It's good to see you. We have our third soap today from Hogs. Have a good shave. It's a beautiful morning with the barber shop duet. Hi, I'm Marcus Klinger with Klinger Vocal Studio. And I'm Sarah Vincent with Sarah Vincent Virtual Pilates. But on Wednesdays and Saturdays... We are the Barbershop Duet! Hey, we're so glad you're here! We yes. wouldn't be the Barbershop Duet without you. Mm -mm. And for our mention today, we know a lot of you might be heading out to some of the meetups yes, that are having in Phoenix up. and mm -hmm. Michigan. And so if you are uh, traveling, we picked this up at the Ranger Company. What yeah, is this? It's like, like a little portable, easy travel. So it kind of just pops up. And those who are bull latherers, it's a nice, quickie little guy for you to get going. Oh, it's a lather bowl, and it collapses yeah. flat like that. It's got mm -hmm. some definition here at the bottom to get your lather going on your brush. And, yeah, yeah, so we thought that might be nice to mention for you all. Right. So anyway, safe travels to all our friends. Keep us updated on mm -hmm. your adventures. And so what is our soap today? This soap we actually were able to purchase with a TRC gift card that we got from one of our friends yeah. that sent it our way. He wanted to sponsor a few episodes, but he didn't want us to mention him because his dad always told him, when it comes to matters of kindness, make it significant and make it secret. So we know who you are. Santa knows who we you are. are. We're so <laughs> grateful. Thank you for sponsoring three of our episodes. Mm -hmm. And I'm excited. Let's meet the soap. All right, so our friend only had one suggestion as far as what soap we should get, so we had to reach out to the community mm -hmm. for the other two, and Angelo enabled us to get yes, this one, he said, because he's on the label. Mm -hmm. No, we Angelo is so, Darwin, but. but we totally get that, that this would be a favorite soap of his. So what are we looking at here? All right, so The Awakening yeah. is an amber vanilla fragrance, and it's best for summer. It has a rich peachy smell with fruity notes. We have been inspired to create this scent as an homage to Bitter Peach by Tom Ford. Another Tom Ford? Y'all, we are fun. giant fans of Tom Ford. Mm -hmm. right the ombre leather homages we were are learning. absolutely we're fans. amazing. Mm -hmm. Wow. And, and found cherry. Oh, right. And then this oh, one's another man. fruit. So. I know. Ooh. I'm so excited. So why don't we unbox mm -hmm. it? All right, here it is. The three we got with the gift card. Oh, there we go. Wait, uh, we have not checked. Let's see. I we don't are. want to alarm you, but we are looking at some razor yeah. company stickers. Yeah. And we got stickers. And let's see. Oh. It's a note. It's Pizza. a double day. All right. Hey, guys, you picked some great scents and soap bases. bases. Love Ooh. crystal. P.S. Marcus, lay off the Twinkies. <laughs> uh, wow! Oh, and we got two more in here. So you yes. did not see these. You did nope, not see nope. this Lothar one, but they will be and you did back. not see the merchant from mm -mm. Zingari Man. No, no, very no. Excited to look at that. Yes. All right. So okay. here we go. Get it out of the bag. The Awakening. Now, y'all, if you were a little new to the Hogs experience, mm -hmm. it is a little bit of a luxury one. Yeah. Here, got, we got a seal here, sealed for your protection. We got a side mm -hmm. label right there. We got an intensity rating on the bottom. I All just the love information. This. <gasps> Packaging on the hog subs. And He's look at this! That that only Those bears colors. a slight resemblance to Angelo. That mm. that's all. That's all. <laughs> I'm just so excited to actually get our noses on it. I know it came out in summer, and we did totally miss it. We had too many new smokes to get in going, and now it's time. I, I don't know what we can do. It might be too overwhelming. <laughs> uh, I just want to see your face. Let's have a first impression. All right, take the seal. You Should think? I take the dog? I should let you. Dog. All right, Lenny, let's see what we got here. Let's watch your moment. Okay. Ooh. Which was fun, because... Demetrius actually just put out on his page some information about hogs, and it turns out he was actually born only like 40 miles from where we are in yeah, Grandma. It's kind of like cool. five miles from where her grandma mm -hmm. lived her whole life, so that's kind of a cool little connection there to faraway Greece. I might be booby trapped. Sorry. Oh. She went for the scissors. Okay, there we go. There, there we go. go. It's, it's really wrapped. We have not pre-smelled this, as you can tell. I'm excited. Oh, okay. Ooh. These colors, you're right. They are looking They're good. They're gorgeous. All right. Okay. Take it in. I'm going for it. Get? I'm going for it. Watch your face. Okay. All right. All we know is peach so far. We yeah. didn't peek at anything else. Here's the pour. Oh, for those oh. who like, it's a little darker. Oh, that's okay. nice. Okay. okay. Okay, ready? Take it in. I'm going to watch All your right. face. Oh yeah. It, oh. Okay, I get where it said amber. I get yeah. that a little bit, but I get it's a, it really fits well with the peach action. Ooh, nice. 
I don't know if I would have known right away that it was actually a cologne wash. Oh, so I was going to ask. I was going to ask, is it cologne Do you get more of like the fruit kind of smell? What do you got? Uh, I do get more of the fruit, but I don't know if I would have known if it was a cologne right away. Oh, nice. It, it's a lighter amber scent. Oh, cool. I, so you get I, amber under the surface. What else do you get? What are the scent notes? It's clean, but it has like a a little bit of a suntan oil kind oh. of vibe. Oh, Oh, I like Which that. Which is actually probably fun to open during winter. Right. Because, oh, you know, right. I know it's meant for summer, but... Take a little trip to the beach? Yeah. I, I, I'm curious. See, see what you get first off the There must be a lot going on in here. Okay, yeah, let's, I'm see. Curious. let's see. I'm let's curious. I'm curious. Because I think I know what it's going to smell like, but I'm never It wasn't right. what I thought. I'm never I right. have to say. It's okay. very enjoyable, but I don't... What I had in mind, I was not right. Oh, <laughs> okay. Here you go. Like smooth is a word I keep getting? Boy, you're right. I was not expecting that. That is deep. I mean, I knew everyone said to get it, but now I get why. And <laughs> dignified mm -hmm. and spicy and okay. and not like not like crazy energetic fun. No. More like just, you know, you ever met somebody who's like way too calm for color television? That's you know what I mean? smooth. Like there's just like this chill collected vibe going on. Wow. This makes me want to meditate. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And I'm just getting dark purples and burgundies. Like, y'all, these mm -hmm. are the spicy. It's a very undertones. relaxing scent. At oh. least just directly off the puck. Like, and and y'all... The peach is the lightest thing. Yes. Once that opens mm -hmm. the door, it just goes beautifully dark into all of these mm -hmm. rich spices. And, you know, it's funny because oh. I think of pink like the peach rings for some reason. Like, that's what I smell wow. instead of this is like the actual fruit. Yeah. Y'all, I was um, kind of expecting a little bitter candy in this. Right. Now get that out of your no, head. Not at this all. is the farthest thing from mm -hmm. that. Whoa. I know. I'm so curious to see once we lather because if yes. just off there it already does have a lighter smoother right. quality and i think the amber is what kind of keeps it in that chill zone right and my grandfather as i mentioned had a farm out in san joaquin mm -hmm. county and one of the four trees that surrounded the ranch house right was this beautiful peach tree and it's funny we've had a couple of peach scents and i haven't right. thought of this this has not brought it up but this ah, this see? sparked that memory because what this is this is three o'clock in the afternoon in a Stockton afternoon. So if you, if you know Stockton, it's 103 <laughs> degrees in the shade, right? But if you were next to that peach tree, you were being given this like unbelievable warm aroma of all of the peaches that were ripening on the branches and just a few that had recently fallen to the ground almost over right? That sounds so and good. That, that is what they've captured in this. Mm -hmm. This is unlike anything I've smelled before that wasn't that actual peach tree. And then right. what I love is it's almost like my grandfather is next to it. A little That's, bit of his yeah. sweater, a little bit of his cologne, mm -hmm. a little bit of his hair stuff. That There's just a, a little bit of the brandy he had in his flask. You know? Those I mean, fit this is exactly just, the colors of that right, scent, though. That. I get it. Oh, you know, I'm just overjoyed to know where this is going to live in our shave den so that if I want to revisit this, I will always know where. No, it was time we added some more hogs. This good. is a good one to what add What else next. are you getting while I get ready to make a lather? Yeah. Pass me that Razor Company bowl over mm -hmm. here. Speaking oh. of Crystal and Jason, they Ooh, sent that over. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah. I do actually get a little bit of that boozy side now that you're doing that. I know, so do I. But I mean, how do you have peach without some kind of little bit of a brandy right? smell It's to funny, it, I, right? I forgot that they go so well together oh, until I smell this. A little this. brown sugar, a little herb or something, mm -hmm. maybe. Oh, and it's I, just delightful. Knowing that it's peach, I don't get any gourmand. Oh, you know, that's a really good point. Hold on. I would let me, not let me put this it. in my mouth necessarily. I don't, <laughs> I just want to enjoy the scent of it. Right. Right. Wow. Right? That is a fine, fine line here, mm -hmm. folks. But you're right. I Somehow, this has just it? got a little bit of a set note of the cologne attached mm -hmm. to where your mouth knows this is a cologne, not a... Right. Mm -hmm. But, and, and it's not, you know, if we had a cologne radar, you know, some are much more of that potent cologne hit at the end. Right. And this is that, like, kind of subdued, hidden, chill side. Right. And y'all, with a soap like hogs, when you see a kind of a cobweb pattern there at the bottom of your bowl, she she's asking see. for more water. You want to fill her up there a little bit. Woo! Until you get like a yogurt consistency it's in the bowl. It's always so fun looking at the hogs' labels, too. I know. Like, I know. they have such fun. 
like well thought out artwork. Even just the color of the gorilla's eyes just compared the quality, to the other stuff. The and quality of this artwork is just a cut above, y'all. You know it's summertime. You know you're supposed to be like on your own little island. And the fact that it's called The Awakening right. really does oh. give this scent. Like, mm. you know, the awakening of summer or the morning air. Like, there, there is that chill calm before the day takes off. Right. There's, like, something different about that scent. And you know what? That might make this a little unique with all the scents we've got. Because so far on this show, usually we proclaim rather close to this mm -hmm. point, whether this is a morning soap or an evening one. But, y'all, this might be the first blue ribbon winner for both. This yeah, would do just, just as beautifully in the morning to just get you out of yeah. bed with that beautiful peachy smell because mm -hmm. you can smell the juice, you can smell the sunlight. But for me, for me where this wins is back in my drinking days when you would see the sun start to go down mm -hmm. over the Golden Gate Bridge. It was time to get out a sweaty glass of a little bit of brandy, a little bit of scotch, sit down and enjoy your night with a little bit of cheese or a little bit of something. Uh -huh. Or a little bit of fruit uh -huh. to unlock those beautiful notes in that mm. scotch and that brandy. Now, I believe it or not, I don't miss the alcohol, but I do miss that feeling right. of like the sun's going down. It's mm -hmm. it's a beautiful, warm, comforting evening, and I've got a little glass of warmth You're in my hand to, to enjoy and, and a little bite yeah. of that fruit along mm -hmm. with it. That is going to bring it back for me, maybe just enough. You know what I mean? That's right. what this gives me. So, so is that morning what's or afternoon, in the lather, though? Yes, but this, this for me is an afternoon evening because it gives me that. Take it in. Better it in is. the lather. It is. It's Better still it's still the on the lighter side though. Not, oh, you, think? you know, like intensity wise, I feel like they stayed pretty close from the puck to here. Oh, sometimes right, how it right. blooms and gets a little crazy. This kind of stayed in that. Well, sometimes same... it gets a little lighter. It when does. You lather, yeah, but sometimes. This doesn't. This stays beautifully intense. What's its rating at the bottom here? Oh, let's, yeah, see. let's see. Oh yeah, about two thirds. Mm -hmm. Two thirds of the way up. So that makes perfect sense yep. to me. And this is y'all. Let's have a grown up conversation. This is where I like my intensities. I like yes. it to sit a little bit more in the middle, mm -hmm. a little bit stronger. You know what you got on your face. You don't have to search for it. Yeah, this is I feel perfect. like we may need to be getting the splash if it's not sold oh. out because smelling this, you'd be sad when it wears off. You know, like there's just some that you're like, I want that to keep lasting through my day. Right. Getting a whiff of that would just be me smile. Right. Like, I mean, there are some that are absolutely gorgeous, but there are some that just go beyond into magic. And this, this is one of those. This just right? ventures into territory, but I have no experience, but I just want to live here for a while. I don't know anything like this. No, and it's it's fun to have our third from this wow. artisan because usually when we get to the third one, we start to kind of get more of their signature scent. And there is something that's different here right. that, I, that is very signature to hogs that I'm noticing now, but I didn't realize originally. One of the most comforting scents in the world to me. And one of the reasons I'm a little bit happier that today's the day it is is because it's laundry day. And I just <laughs> have this wonderful feeling of accomplishment when all of our clean clothes are put away and our room just has this lovely smell clean. of clean laundry. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily any of the products that I've used. It's kind of a mix of them all together. It's the warmth of the dryer. It's just that comforting scent right. of everything is put away and clean and beautiful and comfy. Mm -hmm. And this has, I know this is weird, but just a little bit of that hint of a clean mm -hmm. laundry sense to it for me. Do you get that right. too? No, I do. But there's something in the amber that doesn't, right. it's not too bright of a clean, if right. that makes sense. Right. It kind of stays in that warm, and that's why I'm thinking out of the, the laundry clean. clean right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I that, get that. Oh, beautiful wintry clean smell, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's time we dive a little bit so. deeper into these scent notes. What do you say? <laughs> Y'all, okay. let us imbibe into this smorgasbord of set notes that we've got. And whoa, okay, uh, okay let's okay. start at the top. Okay, so no big surprise. No, this stars peach, top notes peach, peach, and then blood, blood orange. I get that now Love that I'm it. smelling because it is a tamer orange. It's not a zesty. Right, and then cardamom, cardamom ah. right, just to brace it a little bit. And heliotrope, which we don't get as often. Just a little bit sweet. Just a little. Love that. And then for me. Uh, you were so right. Middle Look at notes. That. These middle notes are the heart of this. You were right. Love the most. So we're mm -hmm. looking at rum, cognac. cognac. Oh, Davana. Davana. Uh, it makes me think of divine. No, no, no. Davana. 
And like, jasmine. But it's very hidden in there. It's just enough to keep it yes. bright and clean. But, okay, y'all, think of jasmine. And you know how when it leaves you, it's got, like, that beautiful bracing edge of, like, oh, that's a friendly flower? That's what they pulled mm-hmm. out. And that's what this is. As this leaves you a little bit, you're just given that gorgeous, friendly, tiny little blossom as a parting gift. And, oh, it is so good. And then this one's got a lot of fun stuff here. Oh, man. Okay, <laughs> when we were talking about those shadowy sides of this, those mm-hmm. deeper notes... Peach, I'll say it again, is the yep. lightest thing in this, y'all. This goes straight down into this right. territory. But the peach I'm stays within. This. It's oh, just yes. all of these other things are dancing yes. above and below it somehow. And you know what's interesting? Usually we talk about at this point how a scent note will combine with another one, and then those two will right, combine, right. and then those two will combine, mm-hmm. and then those all come together. This one, y'all, the peach is combining with each of them. So the yeah. pe- it's like a pyramid. It's like the peach to the, and let's read these right. base notes, to the Indonesian patchouli. Yes, well, I smell the those. Indonesian linked. patchouli leaf, very specific. Oh, I missed okay. that. Okay, right, and then vanilla, vanilla, the peach to the vanilla. Imagine mm-hmm. that, and as it passes through cognac, right? I mean, come on, right? And then Tonka mm-hmm. bean, that's right. why the little darker color Makes sense, yeah. goes with the vanilla, and then oh, sandalwood. Yes, and then benzoin, mm-hmm. cashmere. I definitely get that. Oh, another new one. Look, styrax, styrax. We've seen this once before, it's but been a I long don't time. remember. Styrax. And oh, then, and then two lovely offerings. Ah. Labdanum and vetiver. Wow, Just and when you look at this, you can kind of see the green in the logo. Right. It does make sense. Like, you are meant to be outdoors. Right. And y'all, it makes perfect sense to me that our friend Angela would be the one who suggested this. Because if you've ever met him, he's one of the nicest, sweetest guys. You just want to give him a just big old a hug. hug. And yeah. this smells like I would imagine Angelo to smell mm-hmm. like. He's not going to greet you with hollows, I don't think. I think no. this is, uh, well, and it, it just makes sense because his picture's on it. He <laughs> sat for that portrait for three he and a half sat- hours. <laughs> he took did. a long time. That is not AI. That is pure but Angelo. It, it, this is a Mr. Rogers. It is. Sit, let's be honest. I would agree. And you know, going from the title of the original, Original that it's an homage to. Are you getting right. much bitter? I'm not. No. I'm just getting beautiful mm-hmm. peach, little sweet, little boozy. Woo! And then yeah. grounded in all these gorgeous. It is sentences. interesting because it is peach, so it's automatically a little sweeter. But <sighs> it's not that gourmandy candy sweet right. that you get a lot when there's fruit involved. Right. This is. St- it kind of just stays the same the whole time. Right. It's funny, but I get a little bit of a hint of cream, but it's not creamy. No. So I, I, you would think like peaches and cream, but no, no. this has, I think it's the floral that does it and the, mm-hmm. the vanilla just gives a little bit of a basing, but then just keeps it and above the, that the surface. And added rum and right. cognac side really make it have that savory smooth God. smell to it. I don't think I've said this like on the show. I've said it to her not on the show, but like this might be in my top five. Five. See, Angelo, Y'all, you knew. You've gotten them figured out, man. In fact, I think I need to text Angelo and, and ask <laughs> her what other sense we need to do after this. And speaking of that, let's take this mm-hmm. a little bit deeper. You know what this is? You know what this is? This is me sad. I don't have the splash. I know, this and is I, so I, different. I think it's a lot of them are getting low. We might have to order as soon oh, as we hop on. It's getting oh, serious. But I'm really glad we snuck this in because there was a few other of the Hogs ones that everything was just so crazy for seasonals that it was hard to make sure we actually saw all the soaps go by. Going through Halloween and Christmas, y'all. Some I mean, of the stuff just problem. had to wait a little bit. But oh, man. And we've only is... been in the hobby for like six months. I so know we to don't know. comment on lather here at the Barbershop to win. But are you kidding me with this lather? We're a mess here. Oh, like you can't even see what color this no. bowl is supposed to be. This is phenomenal. And, and it and feels this good on your face. This, I know some people ask. I want to make sure we mention which base this one right. is. Right. Yeah, this is the Osiris base. For I know they, they have a go. few different ones. So those who wanted to know, that's what the one we've got here. Just magic, the way this dances. Just really, unbelievable. And it's fun because we did do the other two from Hogs, and one was a lighter, more um, summery kind of one, and I just assumed that right. was kind of a grease Right. infused scent ah, because perhaps. they're from Greece yes. and, same and then thing, but then this one's more, Xmas right. oh mm-hmm. boy was that, I still go back to that one right. to this day just that those beautiful Christmas spices mm-hmm. and they did again it was more of the spice it did have more of that darker kind of yeah, vibe kind of going and this is that apple cherry right. and this is more of the peach mm-hmm. like, oh boy but hogs it's, so it's super right. fun to get to know their their kind of fingerprint right. if that makes sense Indeed. and 
their list is very complex of their notes every I know. time. I know. They have a top, middle, bottom. There's a lot of things happening, yeah. and it paints the picture. Right. They are you know? one of the artisans that I'm beginning to be able to recognize via their complexity alone. Yes. Like, that becomes the fingerprints, mm -hmm. right? And, like, Barrister and Man has that lovely mystique that I can smell in a lot right? of their soaps, right? This one, I just am getting to know hogs by the mm -hmm. nature of their complexity because the right. way they put these puzzles together is just brilliant. I, I would have never put half of these things no. together, but seeing how they come together is quite a wonderful experience. I have to say, happy or just smelling it. I know. It? And even though it's, you know, January for us, the fact that this came out in summer, like, I really feel like we'd want to jump and grab that right. often throughout the year to right. just have that kind of chill, relaxing vacation right. kind of vibe. So it's pretty simple. All you have to do is put together a team of anthropologists and head over to Skull Island. Take some mm. helicopters, maybe a big boat to wait for you. Make sure you don't do it when there's a storm. And then as you go into the forest and you start rappelling down that rocky cliff, you're going to hear a breath behind you. You're going to hear the stomping of big feet. You're going to smell bananas. And that's just Angela telling me, said, hi, you just got your own. In the United States, Hogg suggests the razor company, Pasture Pharmacy, and the Shave Supply. I've had my shave. And y'all, first of all, the hog's base, the hog's lather. Get out of town. This is for special occasions. This is on the day you take the convertible out and put the top down, y'all. This is one of those bases. Just amazing what it does with the razor on your face. It's thick. It's sticky. It stays where you put it. And it does magical things to get that hair off your face. Now, the scent. Ha ha! We loved it so much, we immediately got two different cologne dupes of it, and this is our favorite versions of it. Y'all, this is an amazing bitter peach, and I cannot understate what this did to our noses, because we thought we knew peach before, we thought we knew cherry before Lost Cherry. Yo, Tom Ford does amazing things, and my hat is off to Hogs for being, I think, the only soap we know of that has found this and brought it to us. We could not be more grateful. <laughs> Welcome to Messages. So we have decided for Easter that we want to include you in our fun episode for Sterling's Friends Till the End. Right, it is a soap to honor us and our pets in any form. And this is us <laughs> with Lainey when she was a baby. So what we need are pictures of you. And if you want your whole family and your pets mm -hmm. so that we can feature them in a little montage on our Easter episode of Friends Till the End, send them to we sent you at thebarbershopduet.com and we might even choose who's a winner from those submissions to send you out a little something special. So thank you, and thank you for being here. Top five. Yeah. Like, oh my God. Like, top I, I don't want to like hurry up the episode, but I feel like we have to jump off an order if that's Ooh, last before it's right. gone. Y'all, that's what I love about the shaving world, is you can do 160, 170 episodes, and still, the one you're going to do next might be one of your all-time right? five top favorites, and one day that might even get dethroned by something better. Are you kidding me? These just keep getting better and more amazing they every really, time. They really, really do. Them. I know this is more of like a masculine kind of scent, but I don't feel like I couldn't be able to pull this off it's just a more savory side to a peach right right it just I mean, yes I'm, that's I'm, a good way to say that it's that maybe that's why i thought of like even just the peaches on the ground that have right, just yeah, fallen but from i the knew tree, exactly what you meant taking it all in just this beautiful almost yeah. syrupy like almost you smell them fermenting and that's the cognac in here it right? is just, super fun to see how the artisans <sighs> take things that we think we know and right. totally flip them upside down even though it's a tom ford scent right. but like then how it's taken into a soap and hopefully a splash we're clearly <laughs> enjoying what we're doing <laughs> here I know all these set notes, but it's like I know all the colors in a Surat painting. It doesn't mean I know we what can't he's do it. do with them, right? Yeah, totally. But thankfully, we can be here to enjoy yes. them. Yes, and, and thank so you so much you. for the gift card from our friend that helped make this episode happen. We Indeed, are beyond grateful. That grateful. makes this beat on special. Every time we look in the den, we'll see it, and we'll know that it technically is from you. So right. thank you. Don't forget your next appointment with the Barbershop Duet. You'll smell better just watching this.